coming up, wary travelers are canceling holiday home visits. And later, Iowa basketball gears up for an unconventional start to their season. Welcome to DITV Now, your flash update on all the biggest headlines coming out of the Daily Iowa Newsroom. I'm your host, Ashley Wheel. And I'm Lauren Johnson. Over 11 million people in the U.S. have tested positive for COVID-19 since the beginning of 2020, and the numbers keep climbing despite mitigation efforts countrywide. According to data from the New York Times, Iowa averaged over 4,000 cases a day last week. Eastern and Central Iowa have been hit the hardest. Governor Kim Reynolds issued a statewide mask mandate on Monday. She also limited indoor gatherings to 15 people and required that bars and restaurants close at 10 p.m. Cases at the University of Iowa are down slightly from last week, but are still higher than they were in October. 45 students tested positive for COVID-19. This brings the total cases to date to 2,510. In other news, Iowa Senator Chuck Grassley has tested positive for COVID-19. Grassley is currently self-isolating and working from home. He serves as president pro tempore of the Senate and is third in line for the presidency behind Vice President Mike Pence and Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi. He did not say how he was exposed. The holidays are a chance for students to visit their families. For international students, that might not be an option this year. Some international Hawkeyes haven't been back on campus since last spring. Travel bans have kept students in their home country for the fall semester. International students in the U.S. could stay, but now they can't leave to visit home. Uh, everyone is cautious about uh, making travel plans right now, although there are technically no restrictions right now. Students are wary about leaving the U.S. in case required quarantine periods or new travel bans restrict them from returning. Uh, if anyone needs to go back to Taiwan, uh, they need to kind of like self-quarantine for 14 days. This pandemic has been hard on everyone, and being away from their friends and family can only make it even more difficult. In just one week, the college basketball season will start. Now, the whole schedule hasn't been released, but Iowa has announced games against top-ranked Gonzaga and 16th-ranked North Carolina early in the season. Iowa starts the season ranked fifth, and they're led by senior Luca Garza. Garza was a stat machine last season, but his focus this year is on the team, not setting records. You know, for me, I think, you know, I've definitely had, you know, a lot of numbers in my past, um, but, you know, my main focus going into this season, you know, is winning. And, you know, that's, my, that's why I came back. You know, I, I know, you know, I put up enough good numbers, you know, to, to make it to the next level. So I think for me, it's just trying to, to win. Another player to watch is Joe Wieskamp. He's heading into his junior year and found himself on the preseason Jerry West Award watch list. Accolades bring high expectations, but Joe knows the Hawks have to be ready for everything. Um, the Big Ten has great teams from top to bottom, so um, we got a lot to prove, really. Um, the preseason rank ranking doesn't mean anything. A few years ago, all eyes were on the sharpshooter Jordan Bohannon, but after two hip surgeries, things have changed. He may find himself in a new role, but it's something he embraces. Yeah, I mean, my role, I think, has kind of just been changing year, year in, year out, game to game, depending on what the team needs. If I, if I don't need a score and I have 15 assists, then so be it. That's what it needs to do to, to win, and, and I'm okay with that as long as we win and put up W in the, in, the, in the column. Iowa basketball has the tools to win this year, which is something Iowa fans don't always see. This is the season to watch Hawkeye basketball. <laughs> Now for a look at today's weather. If you want to study on the Pentecrest one last time before finals, this is the day to do it. Today will be sunny with a high of 56 degrees and a low of 45. Thanks for tuning in to DITV Now. We'll be back tomorrow with the latest on the University of Iowa, Iowa City, and Hawkeye Nation. From Iowa City, I'm Lauren Johnson. And I'm Ashley Wheel. Have a great day.